Welcome to the coin flip simulator lesson. We're going to do two progressions in this lesson. The first is going to, as you click the coin, randomly flip the coin to heads or tails and track the probability. And the second progression is going to do a simulation of however many trials you want to do. So for example, we're going to run with 100 trials in less than about five seconds. So the first thing I did here in this lesson is I uploaded a sprite from online of a coin. And when I did this, and I come into my costumes here, I also uploaded then within this screen, the tail side of the coin. And I kind of erased around the coin so that was just the coin, there was no extra image behind it. And I lined up the heads and the tails so that they matched. So the very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do here is we are, typically you start a program here with a green flag. So the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna simulate a random flip. So I'm gonna come into the variables and I'm gonna hit a, make a variable and we'll call this random flip. So I am going to, as soon as I start my program, a random flip is going to take place. And I am going to call heads number one and tails number two. So you'll see as this is randomly picking, and if I were to run this a couple times, you'll see one is picked, two is picked, two, one. This is randomly picking this number. The other thing I wanna do is get this off the screen. We don't need to see that piece. The next piece we want here is we're going to need a variable for heads and a variable for tails. And I will leave these on the screen. I'll just drag them kind of to where I want them. So now this should track however many times I get heads and however many times I get tails. So I'm gonna come into control. And if my random flip, so when this random flip is performed, if this equals one, which is kind of our substitute variable for heads, Oops, so if random flip equals one, then we are going to change our number of heads by one. So if one is chosen, my number of heads is going to increase to one. The next thing, and I can right click and duplicate this, if my random flip equals two, we want to change our tails by one. Another nice little feature in here that we could do is if you go under looks and we come to these costumes here, we can switch our costume to heads or tails. So as, and I actually might put this first here. So as soon as one is chosen, my picture here, my costume is going to change to portray either side of the coin or the tail side of the coin. Now the next piece we wanna do here is we want to calculate the probability. So the first thing we're going to need, we're going to need another variable. We're going to call this the total, total flips. We'll do probability of heads. And probabil probability of tails. So now, and notice as I create these new variables, they all appear on the screen. So I'm gonna take total flips off the screen by unchecking here, but I'm gonna line up the probability underneath what it lays with here. So heads and heads, tails and tails. Okay, so right at the start, after we run a random trial, a random flip, we're gonna want to change our total. And we want this to change by one every simulation that's made. So what we can do at the very end of our program now is we can say we want to figure out the probability of heads and we want to calculate the probability of tails. And as you discuss this in your math class with students, we know this is going to be the part over the whole. So the whole is going to be our total flips and the part is however many times this happened. So however many heads were flipped and however many tails were flipped. Now the very last piece to our code here is we want to, when we start our program, all of our variables to be cleared out. So I'm just going to go ahead and set heads to zero, 
tails to zero, the total to zero, and each of our probabilities to zero here. So that, when we start our program, everything is reset. All right, this should be it. So what this program is going to do is we can either hit the green flag, and every time I hit it, a random simulation is going to take place. We just want to change one piece here, and we want to start our program actually here with a when this sprite is clicked. So notice the difference in my program now. When I click the green flag, everything clears out. But when I click my coin, now the simulation is taking place. So I flipped one tail, and the probability is at 100%. Two is still at 100%. Now it's flipped. So my heads is showing, and now I'm one-third probability of heads, two-thirds probability of tails, because I flipped one head and two tails. Thanks for tuning in.